Hello, my beautiful Aries. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for Will Be Contact. And um, if you guys would like a personal review, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel. It's called JWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, so what are we going to talk about today? We're gonna talk about, first I wanna do like an energy update. Okay, what's going on with this connection? Okay, um, why are they not contacting? Also, what did they wanna to say to you? Will there be contact? And what's some advice for the situation? All right, my darlings, if you like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You can do both, let's jump right in. Well, I got a couple of new uh, decks and I'm looking forward to using them. So this is one of the decks that I had just came across, it looks very interesting, so let's see. So, what are the thoughts of Aries love connection when it comes to this connection? What is Aries love connection's thoughts of the connection with Aries at this time? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see, let's see. Okay, so we got the Emperor. We have the Six of Wands. We have the World Card Energy. We have the Nine of Swords. We have the Knight of Wands, okay. We got the Judgment Card, that's a good card to get. Seven of Wands, okay. Nine of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Let me show you everything in this camera view. Okay. So at the bottom of the deck, I get the sense from this particular card. I'm going to utilize my intuition on this as well as obviously we're going to talk about the card definitions itself. But I, I get the sense that this person does want your attention. Okay. Um, they definitely want to bring light to a situation here. They definitely feel like there's a sense of potential here. The card itself means happiness, joy, and uh, them really thinking about it very deeply. I feel like they're in a vulnerable state here, whether you guys are aware of it or not. Okay, They are spending time alone thinking about this, and really I get the sense that they're wanting your attention here with the Sun card energy coming out. And they're reminiscing, I get the sense from my intuition that they're thinking about how the happy times you guys spent together. In the chariot, possibly some of you guys, you may have done a lot of driving around or something to do with a car here, uh, which was really healing to the connection, or this person spends a lot of time alone driving around in a car, okay? Thinking about the good times that you guys had together, okay? Uh, they may want to travel towards you because we have the chariot card energy, but let's talk about it further, okay? So we got the Emperor card. And again, I get the sense that this person wants some kind of control over this situation. And you can see also, yes, exactly what I felt like, that they want some kind of attention, Six of Wands energy. They want some kind of victory here. I get the sense that it's like, when they're going like this, like that, it's almost like I want to be right. But on the same token, they, it's like they want to spend this intimate alone time with you that's what I get with this world card energy. It's like this energy of, oh, and I just, I want to just be with them and I just want to spend some time with them. I enjoy spending time with them, but I need to be in control here. I need to be stiff. I need to have some kind of uh, scheduling. You know, I need to uh, have the upper hand here. That's what I get the sense of, of where their thoughts are on the, on the connection. It's like, there's a sense of power and a victory, an accomplishment, okay? And we got the nine of swords energy, but you can see this person is a little bit worried and concerned. Even though that they want this attention, they want this power, they want this control over this situation, they're worried and concerned. Again, you seem like a vehicle. They want to take an action, it looks to me. They want to take an action towards you it's like almost like they're preventing themselves from doing that because if I go this way, 
right, the emperor going this way, it shows me that they're trying to maintain control of their actions because they, they get the sense that if they don't do that, they're going to do something very abrupt here with the Knight of Wands energy. And I get the sense also in this judgment card, it's interesting because it's like they're kind of looking at this from both sides, okay? And uh, it's like they want to have things go in their favor. They want some kind of apology or they want some kind of reconciliation here. You see that with the judgment card energy. They are focused on you. You can see that also. They're, they get the sense, I get the sense also they feel that they have the higher ground here. Okay. And nine of pentacles is showing me something to do with them trying to be uh, having a victory again focusing on money and finance or a sense of independence. I get the sense also this person really does. So thoughts why so far I can see this person wants to maintain some kind of control of their worries and concerns because they feel like they have the higher ground here. They want your attention and they do really want to take an action here with the Net of Wands energy, but they're being self-focused. They're trying to focus on other things. Maybe they're even focused on work here with the Nine of Pentacles energy, okay? They want some type of accomplishment here with the world card energy before this apology or reconciliation happens. But they do have the sense that in their thoughts that this connection does make them happy with the Ten of Cups energy. Okay, so I'm going to clarify further here. Let's just see what else. What else is their thoughts? What else is Aries Lester's thoughts about the connection? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's see what the Emperor is clarified by house and home, a sense of stability. They want a victory when it comes to their choices or there were some issues where they felt like there were some issues around it, another connection. All right, so I get the sense that this person is trying to have a sense of accomplishment, sense of completion because they felt like something about the situation is uh, they get a sense of justice. That's what I get the sense with the karma card. This worry and concern is, uh, well, I get the sense that there is this childishness to them. Uh, they're concerned about what other people have to say. They're trying to listen to your intuition, though, and sit this one out. I get the sense that they want some sense of independence here when it comes to going out, spending time, or romance, or whining and dining. Okay, so let's just go through it. Okay, so what are their thoughts? There's something to do with this home situation. Possibly there's more than one person involved with this situation, okay? Um, they're concerned about something toxic here when it comes to children or a new situation. They're concerned about what other people think. They're trying to listen to their intuition. Um, their thoughts are they need to sit this one out when it comes to dating, whining and dining, and romance because of the past. Okay, so Let's move this out of the way and let's take a look, Aries, at why are they not contacting? Let's look at this other card deck here. Let's use, let's use the gypsy. So why isn't Aries love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, why isn't Aries love interest, why are they not contact? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. You? C. Okay, let's see, Aries. Okay. So far we got the theft card, the joyful card, the cheerful card, the, the hope card, the sigh of relief card, the falseness card. Okay, so let's talk about it. They are concerned about some kind of shock and surprise here. We see because of a child or they're concerned about a new person uh, or a new opportunity when it comes to money and finance. And we see a friend. Okay, so there's been a loss of joy and we see people here involved, some kind of infringing parties. Um, they're hopeful to have a sigh of relief. They're concerned about being foolish when it comes to their pleasure seeking. There is some concerns about deceptions, lying, or being sly and slick with the cat card energy. And uh, also with the, the luck card, they want the timing to be right. So they feel like the timing right now is off. Okay, so 
Let's move on to the next question, which is, what do they want to say to you? I'm going to use this deck. This is another new deck. It's called the Tea Leaf deck. All right, what does Aries love interest? Oh my goodness, okay. What does Aries love interest want to say to Aries? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so far we got, there you got the timing thing. Indecisions, and so it's indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. So I get the sense that they're indecisive and they are very sad over this loss, okay? Uh, we see, interesting, we have the dog card and what did I say, there was something to do with a friend. A distant friend is thinking about you or far away, okay? And again, we got another dog card, all right, interesting. Something to do with a friend. Dog barking. This deck definitely has a lot of variety, uh, but this, this is really strange that all these dogs are coming up in your reading. Advice from a friend. Uh, again, we have another dog's card. Getting together with friends. Straight up, it just seems like this situation, what do they want to tell you? There's something to do with this friend that they're dealing with now. It could be your friend or it could be their friend. I get the sense it's their friend. But um, they're taking the advice of this person, okay? And that's why they're distancing themselves from you. And uh, I get the sense that uh, that's why they're, they're, they were having some indecisions and they were sad about the situation. And their friend gave them the advice to like, hey, distance yourself from this person. Let's see if we get another kind of card here. Okay, so involvement with, okay, so yes, they want a sense of, of justice. That's the grab, the gavel. A period of prosperity and abundance. Yeah, they're focused on work. And they do want to send you some kind of gift here. So let's just go over this. Okay, what do they want to say to you? There's an indecision within them. They're feeling very sad over this loss. They have this distant, far away energy here because of something to do with a friend. Uh, spending time with a friend and getting advice from a friend and getting together with friends. They have this sense of justice here, okay? And uh, they're working on their money and their finance and they want to give you some kind of gift or something of value here. But we see then the next card is saying to me that someone working, so definitely there is, there is somebody that's causing this, this uh, situation here. They're trying to find a way of a fresh start and a sense of happiness in this situation. Okay, let's just jump into now, will there be contact? Okay. All right, let's use this deck here. Positive card for yes. Negative card for no. Will Aries hear from their love interest, from their connection, their person, in the next few months? Positive card for yes, negative card for no. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's see. What do we got here? Yes. Okay, we got the world card. It says triumph completion, right? So something will be accomplished and completed. Let's see what the scenario is around this situation. Knight of Cups, romantic gestures will be taken. Actions of love will be taken here. Um, and we see because of a sense of commitment, traditions, okay? So this is the Hierophant card energy. So we see something will be accomplished and completed because of romantic gestures and a commitment to that. And let's get more information around this. Can I have more understanding of what's gonna happen with Aries when they reconnect with their love connection here, when they hear from this person in the next few months? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Assert yourself. Take charge of your situation. We see the reconciliation, the apology card, because of following your heart. So 
more information about this, the reason why this is going to happen because of love here and because of the, the fact that uh, your person's going to follow their heart. Um, and I do get the sense that there is this want to spend time together, as I've stated before, with it, what they want to. Uh, so it looks like the main blockage in this situation when it comes to you is of this friend or something to do with this friend maybe at work. Okay, so just be aware of that. That's the, the party. They're listening to this friend. They're spending time with a friend or friends here. And that seems to be, and then they're focused really on work to try to avoid it because if they weren't, they would be coming forward here sooner. So let's get some advice to you guys. Can I have, see how the spirit is like, look at the magic and the abundance. Okay. Can I have some advice for my Aries when it comes to their love connection? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I get the sense when we saw in the beginning when that third party thing was going on. Oh, there's the friendship card coming out. Wow, that's very interesting. So your advice at this time is to seek out your uh, friends and family. Surround yourself with uh, positive people. And know that everything will happen in the time that it's supposed to happen because we see cycles. And we see that there is something to do with the past, past lives, past connection with this person. Um, keep uh, your imagination, your mindset positive, And don't lose hope here. And give yourself some time alone to really contemplate this situation. And we see bring things into balance within yourself. You'll be delighted when, these, uh, when you finally receive these blessings. And also understand you do have a lot of possibilities. So if this is a person, like if you, after you have a contemplation about this situation and you're feeling like, well, you know what? I don't know if I really want this person back. That's up to you. You're gonna have a lot of options coming in. So Aries, it's, it's your free will. You can do whatever you like with this situation, okay? All right, my darlings, I love you guys so much. I will see you guys another day or two. I hope you guys have a great rest of your next couple days. There's some multi readings you guys to go check out right now. There's the monthlies, there's the mid-monthlies, there's the weeklies, there's the bi-weeklies. Uh, there are true intentions, there are true feelings, all up and available for you guys to watch right now. The 2023 read should be up soon. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.